Hey guys, back on with a how to add applications to your PSP custom firmware. So if you've seen my other videos, you know I'm running custom firmware 5.00 M33-4. And I'm going to add an application called PSP Notes. Now, before I do that, because this is a how to, we'll go into where to go. You can go to download.qj.net. It's one of my favorites. I always check it. There's also customized PSP.co.uk. Update it all the time. Just on the 15th came Homebrew Plugin PSP Console Version 1. Also, same day, Homebrew Translating App PSP Dictionary, new version 2.4.0. So they're always updated. Check them out. Check out the other ones. Forums have lots of applications. I go to PSPISO.com. I'm signed up there. So I can download. Some guys put threads on there with up to 400 apps. So there's lots to get. Now as you've seen, there's PSP notes. And the first step you need to do is pick the application you want to download. Download it. If you don't have it, an application to extract the files, you need one. I use WinWare. So I've got my WinWare open with my PSP notes right here. You want to take the main PSP notes file. There's the WinWare file right there. So that's where I open that. I want to take this one and add it to the game file. Just drag, drop it right in my game file. Two megabytes. It's not going to take very long. All right. Now that that's done, I'm just going to go open up a little something different here. seen it if you watched a different video. Now that we've added it to our PSP, we can exit USB mode. So there you go. It's the remote remote joy light version 1.9. So we're just going to go over to our game section and see what our application is up to. Apparently I have any music. Didn't go over far enough. All right, let's go see where it is. PSP notes, one point five. There, 
now you can see it. And since it's on remote joy light, well, it does work. Look at that. So there's the first test I've seen is it working with it. So you can choose English. And there we go. We have PSP notes working on our PSP and it's working on remote joy light. If anyone ever wanted to know. So that's a quick basic how to. I don't think I have any more applications I want to add right now. Um, I have Tweak Display already on. I have Hold 3.6. I don't have to Torch. Turns your PSP into a flashlight with multiple colors, various brightnesses. Power Watch tells you battery status, time left, a little more information than just going over to your system information and checking the battery from there. And it's quicker if you have the plug-in added. And there's power manager, so you can change the brightness, slow, slow down the CPU, so you're not using as much battery power. Lots of plugins, lots of applications out there for you. Explorer 1.8 pretty good. I took it off because other applications are coming with file explorers and stuff like that, so it's up to you to find out what you like. Test them out and definitely read the readmes. Very helpful. So that's how you extra little things, tidbits, tips on how to use them if there's instructions. Alright, I hope you guys find this helpful. We'll see you next time. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.